On the 27th of October 2019, something really momentous happened at the Emirates Stadium. It was a London derby between Arsenal and Crystal Palace, and the home team had just thrown away a two-goal lead early in the second half. The North London club was performing below par that day, and one of the biggest culprits was the newly instated team captain, Granit Xhaka. So, on the hour mark, the coach, Unai Emery, decided the best decision was to take the Swiss midfielder off. Now, while he was making his way off the pitch, Xhaka was booed and jeered heavily by the fans. Everyone expected that the captain would just keep his head down and block out the noise, but he decided to react. He even made sarcastic gestures at the fans and even told them to fuck off twice. On top of that, he took off his jersey and instead of going to join his teammates on the bench, he walked straight down the tunnel. For many who were watching, there was no way back for Granit Xhaka. As far as they were concerned, he had just said goodbye to the club and would never play a game for the Gunners again. Talk less of captaining the team. Well, fast forward to 2023, Xhaka led Arsenal out of the Emirates dugout as captain of the side in a European game against Sporting CP. That's just one piece of evidence of the insane redemption arc we're witnessing this season. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story of the rise, fall and rise again of Granit Xhaka. Xhaka was born in Basel, Switzerland, and unsurprisingly, he started his footballing career there. He started out at Concordia Basel at the age of seven, and then moved to FC Basel when he was nine years old. He spent eight years in the FC Basel youth system, and during this period, he was nothing short of outstanding. Former head coach of FC Basel, Thorsten Fink, once said that Shakiri was the best talent in Switzerland, but only after Xhaka. And the national team coach back then, Otmar Hitzfeld, called Xhaka the young Schweinsteiger. He was that good. He broke into Basel's first team in 2010 at the age of 18, and on his debut with the senior team, he registered a goal, showing his ability to contribute to goals from the midfield from the very get-go. In his first season, he made 20 appearances in the league, helping Basel win the title. The following season, he became even more important for the club. He made more appearances in the league, the Champions League, and the Domestic Cup, and he helped Basel complete the domestic double that season. He was a talent who was rising really fast, and Basel knew he wouldn't be with them much longer. And the day he was to leave came at the end of the 2011 to 2012 season. In May 2012, Borussia Mönchengladbach paid 8.5 million euros to bring 19-year-old Jaka over to Germany. He was there for four years and he gave his all to the team. In his last season in Germany, he captained the club on a number of different occasions, showing his leadership skills at a young age of 23. Then, in 2016, after Arsenal tried and failed to sign N'Golo Kante from Leicester City, they went for Granit Xhaka and got him for a fee which was around 30 to 35 million pounds. The Swiss midfielder went on to make his competitive debut for Arsenal in the opening game of the 2016-17 Premier League season against Liverpool. The following month, his first goal for Arsenal came in the form of a 25-yard screamer against Hull City in the Premier League. That goal obviously put him in the mood, because just four days after, he scored an even crazier Galazzo from further out. He did 25 yards against Hull, but against Nottingham Forest, he hit the ball from 30 yards out and scored. It didn't take Arsenal very long to know that they had a gem on their hands. This guy wasn't just skilled at controlling the midfield, he was also able to get goals from there. He gave the team a different dimension that they were not very used to. He would go on to score more goals for Arsenal, including some really big ones. He scored the first goal in a game against Manchester United in 2017, which helped Arsenal snap United's 25-game unbeaten run. That same year, he scored another golazo against Liverpool, which helped the Gunners secure a point from that game. Then, in 2018, he added a new dimension to his game, scoring two goals from direct free kicks that year. After a couple of successful seasons at Arsenal, helping them win the FA Cup and the Community Shield, Unai Emery announced that the Swiss midfielder would succeed Laurent Koscielny as team captain on the 27th of September 2019. Generally, Xhaka enjoyed a pretty steady rise in his first three years in England, but he was always plagued by one thing, his temper. Xhaka is a very emotional man, and he's not very skilled at concealing those emotions. If he's pushed, he'd explode. Between April 2014 and January 2017, he was sent off 10 times for both club and country. 
His temper was his kryptonite, and it got the better of him on that fateful day in October 2019 at the Emirates, exactly a month after he was announced as new club captain. Xhaka cupped his ears to the fans, cursed at them, took off his jersey, and watched straight down the tunnel because he didn't like how they were booing and jeering him. His actions that day were condemned by the coach, criticised by the fans, and lambasted by the media. The following week, it was announced that Xhaka would be stripped of captaincy. The club, by the way, had earlier announced that he would be provided with counselling. So, Xhaka was out of the team for some time, and it looked like the club was just slowly easing him out. We expected to see him get shown the exit door in the winter transfer window, because surely he had fallen to the lowest of lows and couldn't get back up. But before the transfer window was opened in January, Unai Emery was sacked and Mikel Arteta was brought in. And that changed absolutely everything for Xhaka. Xhaka was a very important player in Arteta's plans and he refused to let him go. The new gaffer quickly reintegrated him into the team and having been presented with a second chance, the Swiss midfielder grabbed it with both hands. He immediately hit the ground running and slowly started to redeem himself in the eyes of the Arsenal supporters. Xhaka started putting up back-to-back -back great performances and the Arsenal fans started to come back around. Xhaka himself said that he owed his resurgence to Mikel Arteta. Here's what he had to say about his gaffer. He turned me around, gave me a second chance, and he showed me he trusted me and I tried to give him everything back. And well, looking at his performances so far this season, you have to say that Xhaka has actually been giving everything back. On top of how reliable and solid he has been for the club in midfield, Xhaka has contributed to 11 goals so far this season, and he has sort of gone full circle. After that dramatic day at the Emirates against Crystal Palace in 2019, only very few expected that he'd play for Arsenal again, and even fewer expected that he'd ever wear the captain armband for the North London club again. But following the exit of Aubameyang and Lacazette in 2022, new captains had to be selected and Arteta made pretty unpopular choices. He chose a relatively newcomer and young player as a captain, and then, for vice-captain, he chose a man who had once hit rock bottom at the club, and even been stripped of captaincy before. In the world of football, there are only very few players who have been and will be able to pick themselves back up and reach these heights after hitting such terrible lows at the same club. We saw the likes of William Gallas and Aubameyang get stripped of captaincy at Arsenal and then get shown the door not long after. But Granit Xhaka defied those odds and he's now one of Arsenal's most important players as well as their vice-captain. If he actually helps Arsenal win the Premier League this season for the first time in 19 years, will this be the greatest redemption arc we have ever seen in the Premier League? Let us know what you think in the comments. While you do that, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video, as usual.